So today's story time. Yes. And this is another story that does it have a lesson to it? I don't know. You I know, don't I don't so. think we need to commit to a lesson every time. Sometimes it's just a story. It's just a lot easier. I guess maybe yes, there could be a lesson. At the when end. you don't commit to a lesson, I was I, agreeing with you, and you just like took this talking yes. stick away from me. Sorry, I'm so sorry. It's okay. There may or may no. not be a lesson. We're not committing. I don't think there's gonna be a lesson tonight. I feel like. So Whitney was pregnant. I feel like most are. I know. Well, we've got three kids, and we started having kids not long after we started the business, so. We had just moved to Colorado. We're in our new lab. Um, in Broomfield. In Broomfield. And um, decided that we were going to buy a new mixer. Yep. The mixer that we had was plastic, drum, older, wasn't easy to use, didn't have great mixing efficiency to it. Correct. Um, Found this. Is I know. Found this awesome mixer. Online. thousand dollars. Two hundred and ninety-seven dollars. But we found yes. an awesome a Marshalltown. Yeah. For three thousand dollars with a variable speed motor right. to it for three thousand dollars. We did. And Whitney said. We don't have three thousand dollars to spend on a mixer. You're right. I thought. But then Whitney found this great maroon mixer, kind of like the color of my shirt, for two hundred and ninety-seven dollars. I learned a new word today. Huh. I'm watching uh, Tom Hopkins, the... Are you? Yes, The Art of the Cell or something like that. I can't remember. I name. need to watch some of those. It's, yeah. it's pretty awesome. And, you know, he, he asks this audience of so many thousand people, so many hundred people, How's business? And everybody says... Eh, no, your business is good. Great. Business great. is good. Business is great. He goes, let me teach you a new word. It covers a whole manner of things. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. So that mixer was unbelievable. Was unbelievable. Because like it's it. like, you know, how do you feel about your in law laws? They're unbelievable. unbelievable. It, it covers a matter of it does. many things. It does. Many things. So, like awesome can be like great or horrible. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. So that, that mixer was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Even awesome. Even awesome. And um, we bought it for 300 bucks. And it came, you know, unassembled. It was in pieces, so it had to be put together. I have a PhD in mechanical engineering, not because I put things together. Correct. Well. Correct. There's usually I'm a problem solver, but not not, that a, type. not an assembler. No, I so found out where you furniture. get your. So so your mom and I were chatting, and did you see that? Because you get you just put the kids' bed together, and you got a little like you did pretty good, but you got a little upset. You hear this? Said that I am not ever buying stuff on it. On anyways, whatever. yes, we're going to buy higher quality stuff next time. That being said, your mom was like, I'm, I'm, his grandpa used to curse. And he was great, and Jonathan does a phenomenal job. But sometimes get gets a little angry. gets a little angry when he's assembling things. Some of these tools, the way that you put yeah. them together. No, you don't, because I'm the one who puts them together. I put I put Sophia's group in. Not the last one, the one before that. I put together. I've just I've done a couple of things. Jonathan does the vast majority, the ninety to ninety five percent. But so that being it. said, As so I digress. put this now we need to progress. We're regressing. We're regressing. <laughs> I don't even Yeah, anyways. So Mom humor. got this 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 mixer put together. The right. company name doesn't matter. No, we're not gonna We're not bashing them. under the bus. I'm sure there's a place in this industry. Sure. But the the gauge, the thickness of the metal. Like you can dent it if you put Sneeze. it together, yeah. And then the motor that spun it um, was mounted on this metal mount right. Right, that, again, was made of this thinly gauged metal. And with the concrete mixer, there's a lot of torque to get that right. mixer to turn. And we didn't even use the full capacity; we used only like a, a third or a half. Yeah. And to turn that, so what would happen is the belt would. Slide off mid mix. So Jonathan would be in the lab by himself, open the door, start yelling, Baby! Get down here! So I would run down, and I can't even remember what you would have me do. I think I had to hold the front piece so you could try to get it put. Because you couldn't, you couldn't Pregnant. disassemble all of it like you, anyways, it was so you had to take the housing hold something. The, for the motor off, 
And then you had to... But not disconnected all the way. Not disconnected all the way, then you had to take the, the belt assembly off. Right. Which then means putting the belt back on, stretching the belt, right. but remove or, or not removing the, the plate, but loosening it up so you that that was the piece that you oh, okay. okay. You're loosening the plate up so you can move the motor to right. have a little more slack. Right, I just remember. And then yeah. move it back, but because it was full You had to quickly do this because there was concrete in the middle. That wanted to turn it. And right. Not the best. You know, this story makes me tired. Does it? Because I remember I know, it. I know. So we yes. had to throw out mixes. Did. We had to throw out mixes because you know you, you only have a certain amount of time to do mixes, right? And once it stops, you really can't. What you've got thirty seconds to a minute, like you've got your you know specified breaks during your mixing, but you have five minutes plus, like you've got to. So I, I guess break. here's the lesson: don't buy the cheap stuff. Well, buy the cheap stuff because you'll learn the same lesson that we did. I am a big proponent for the cheap stuff if it will do the job. But we had one of our business advisors ask us. How much did you lose? It's great, still pumped, very nice. Um, how much did you lose yeah. every time you did that? Right. How many mixes did you lose? Yeah. How much money did you have to spend or resources did you have to, to right. waste? How much to, time? To yeah. recover from those mixes. Right. Well, it's not just that, getting the materials sometimes. Right, that's true. So, you know, the better question was, should we have just spent the $3,000? Probably, yeah. Excuse me. And we kept that mixer. I know we that mango is like repeating on. Oh dear. So the lesson here is, especially in the concrete industry, and I think this is why it's so important. When you buy equipment that's not meant to last a long time, concrete's not forgiving. Grout no. is not forgiving. Although I feel like with grout, you've got a little more flexibility. If you have totally, to go get totally. the hundred and fifty dollar mixer, it's not as that heavy being said, to be. The the that's the whole part is a freaking workhorse though. We've had it for ten decade. years. Yeah. And, and it's we're still not doing nice a great job. No. Not gonna work. So So the lesson to be learned is Spend money wisely. Yes. Don't settle for the cheap stuff because eventually. Well, evaluate how often you're going to be using it. You know, if we were going to use it once or twice, I guess it would. No, nope, I think every time the bell came. Up. So still not. If we were going to use it once or twice, then we rent it. And there's something to be said for that too. That is true. And when we did our big, big mixes, our, we our rented four or five first cubic feet. Times, yeah. We rented it, and then finally, like, okay, we've rented this enough. We know what we're looking for. Right. Let's do that value added. Right. And then we got a mixer, right? Or but a I mean, huge mixer. But yeah, evaluate what what sort of work you're going to be doing because if you know it is going to be a workhorse, you need to buy a workhorse like you do. It, it's going to end up costing you more in the long run. Believe me, I am an advocate for the bargains. Love the bargains, but sometimes the bargain is really not a bargain. So, so how many mixers do we have? We have eight mixers, yeah. and they're all different types. Some are for liquids. Some are for cement paste. Some are for grouts. Yeah. Three concrete mixers, uh, and we actually have two mixers for grouts. Yeah, and and yeah, I mean, and we've All got high end, and then we've got some lower end as backups. Right. Oh, um, the backups. I wasn't even considering. Yeah. I was just considering the higher end. Right. Yeah. So I, you know, put your time into it, but my thing is, don't be cheap. Yeah. Be frugal. Well, here's the thing too. Yeah, if you're gonna do, if you've got a Say you have a $15,000 contract, do you really need to get the $300 mixer or can you take a little bit of that, invest in the $3,000 one, know it's going to do a great job, and well, then you've got it for upcoming company. ones? That's how they run their company. You know? that's, that's an internal Oh, totally. Question. Yeah. All right, all right. So, thank you for joining us today. Yes. That story made me so tired. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I want to go get a snack or something like that. <laughs> go concrete! Eat asphalt! That's life. That's what all the people say You're right